Hi, I'm Tim Warner, host of the Inform IT on Certification video channel and the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide. What we're going to do over the next 10 minutes is introduce a couple new products that we're developing at Pearson, the CSENT and CCNA network simulators. I'll also give you a brief product demo to get you familiar with the technology, and I'll give you my contact information so you'll have a point of contact if you have any questions or curiosities or suggestions for improvement for these new products. Many folks who are new to IT or even IT veterans who are pursuing IT certifications want a Cisco credential. They're valued in the marketplace. At the entry level side of the spectrum, we have the Cisco Certified Entry Networking Technician or CSENT credential. That's at the entry level or in the Cisco pyramid you see where I'm pointing at the bottom of that pyramid. The next level or at the associate level, we have the Cisco Certified Network Associate. This CCNA title's been around for a long time. If I scroll down, as you see, I'm at the Cisco.com website. You can go to this site directly for more information on these titles if you're so interested. The CCNA embraces two exams, the 640-822 ICND-1, 640-816 ICND-2. If we come over to CSENT, there's just one exam for that credential. That's the 822 ICND-1. That'll come into play in just a moment. A common challenge for folks who are pursuing the CSENT or the CCNA exams is to go beyond the theoretical knowledge and to gain practical hands-on experience with configuring Cisco router and switch hardware. That's where we come in. We've developed two products, one called the CSENT 640-822 Network Simulator and another called the CCNA 640-802 Network Simulator that give you that hands-on experience, meanwhile saving you A, having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to replicate live hardware, which just isn't practical, or B, having to muck around and gain your experience in a production environment at work, which obviously isn't going to work either. Now look at these price points. $74.99 for CSENT, $150 for the CCNA. You see that that really compares very favorably with our chief competitor in this space, the Boson products. Their CSENT NetSim is a little under 200 bucks. Their CCNA NetSim is a little under 250 Now, I've used the Boson products heavily. I know all those folks personally as well. We'll just leave it up to you as the customer to evaluate both of these and see how they stack up. I want to spend the majority of our time together today in the software. Before we jump in there, let me give you the product highlights. The CSENT has just a hair under 100 labs. The CCNA product has 250. Now that's a lot of labs. Another product differentiator here with our two simulator products is that we offer three different types of labs. Check this out. We have the skill builders which are essentially drill exercises, where each lab gives you basically a handful of new Cisco IOS commands that you can use to gain new familiarity with those commands. Configuration scenario, you take those commands and begin to apply them. Troubleshooting scenario, you take your new commands and your new configuration skills and apply those in real-world troubleshooting scenarios. Now let's fire up the software, and I'll give you a product walkthrough. Here we are. This is the CCNA Network Simulator product. This is a Java application that's available for both Windows and Mac OS platforms. Starting at the top of the interface, you see across the top these buttons. You'll see how these work in just a second. In the upper right, we have the Start Lab, Save and Load Config, and the Commands button, where we can click and get a list of all the supported iOS commands that are available. Looking down in the labs list specifically, the CSENT product will include only the ICND-1 skill set because as I showed you a little bit earlier, the CSENT exam incorporates only the Interconnecting Network Devices 1 or ICND-1 material. 
If we expand the ICND1 and the ICND2, as I told you, we've got the three different types of labs. And then if we expand each one of those in turn, you'll notice that each section is divided into parts. If we expand a part, you'll see eventually we get down to the lab level. When we select an individual lab and click Start Lab, a couple things happen. The first thing that happens is that the topology loads. You'll see momentarily the network map displays the lab topology. And as you see here, there's the lab topology. And in the lower left, you see the command line interface. Wendell Odom is a leading pioneer in Cisco technology, Cisco training, etc., He's our technical lead for this product. I want you to know that we vetted every single lab in this simulation product on live gear. So every lab, every topology, every command in the lab was tested to make sure that what you see in the simulator is exactly what you see when you perform this lab against live hardware. So know that. With regard to this topology, you can shift your focus among your devices by double left clicking those devices. You'll notice as I double left click SW1, the focus shifts down in the CLI. You can also come to your top menu bar and shift focus among your devices. You notice you have PCs, switches, and routers, depending upon your topology. The other thing that happens when you start a lab is the lab manual opens in your default PDF reader application. These are professionally laid out documents, as you can see on your screen right now. It gives you your lab overview, your topology, detailed lab steps, then there's a hints and answers section. Finally, after your hints and answers, you can see detailed configuration steps that show exactly what steps are required to complete the lab successfully. I know some students want those step-by-step -step answers. Others like to really challenge themselves before they get those answers. So you have the best of both worlds in that lab document. Finally, if you look on the top navigation bar, after you've completed the lab, you can get feedback from the engine by clicking the Grade Lab button. In fact, I'm going to quickly complete this lab, which is dealing with configuring an IP address on switch one. I'll double click switch one, enter the password, and just go from there. Notice that you don't have to use the full commands. I'm using shortcut commands just like I would as in live gear. The whole point of this is that the simulation engine needs to behave like live gear. There, so I've successfully, at least I believe I've successfully configured the switch. Let me click Grade Lab, and it looks like I've passed this lab, so I've successfully completed the lab. The labs have three states. Pass if you've successfully completed all of the iOS commands. Fail if you've missed at least one command, and it tells you which one or ones you've missed. And there's also a conditional pass grade where you might have done extra commands and the engine can't tell whether those were necessarily correct or not because they were outside the scope of the lab. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into the CSENT and CCNA network simulator products. As of this recording in late October 2008, the product is in beta. It will be released by the end of calendar year 2008. Again, my name is Tim Warner. I'm happy to be your host here in the On Certification Vidcast channel and the Certification Reference Guide. You can contact me with any questions at timothy.warner at pearson.com. Thanks very much for watching.